Yeah. Okay. Um, so how this in- starts out is that at uh, around, I mean, the, it falls into night. The moon shines bright. It's, it's full moon, uh, softly yellow in color, almost gold perhaps. And there's this sudden earthquake that rocks the the town of Pallet. And towards the very end of the uh, street that runs through the middle of it, just this giant sinkhole opens up, but it reveals these strange runes underneath it. And it's pretty obvious, well, that that's Kale. Or rather, the guy standing at the middle of all this is Kale. Uh, He even goes so far as to send a ghostly message to each of you. Oh, he's tweeting us. Tweeting you with uh, magic power, ninja magic, saying, the time has come. It is now time for you to bring me the mirror, Shingen. And, well, that'll be that. Basically, everyone shows up in their own way, however you want to, uh, to this final fight. All right. I'm hidden inside a barrel. (laughs) Kigami gets on a horse and leaves. I think, um, well, however, however, uh, my caliber enters, it's probably got an entourage at this point. (laughs) No, I was just planning to roll up with my BFF Oda, but. That's right, man. We're, We're such good friends, dude. Come on. I couldn't find him when I was getting ready to leave. You know, it's, I needed someone to help me with my cufflinks. You know, we could oh, do each true. other's hair. That's true. So, well, like, you couldn't do the little buttons on your sleeves, so you look like a slob now. No, I just paid someone to do it. Damn. Like finance <laughs> skill, you got to roll it, I believe. <laughs> I'll save that for right. later. So, yeah, uh, let's start the scene. Uh Essentially, this ruin that opens up is weird. It's like non-Euclidean geometry. Stuff is like floating in air. There's not even like really a floor. It's just endless bottom towards whatever center that Sentinel, the planet, has. And just it's a really bad location. But uh, on these floating platforms, uh, Kale stands at the mo- the biggest one with a large altar that is set up with lots of ornate relics uh, made of steel, uh, arcane things from ages long past, and basically he just eagerly awaits for Shingen, who at this point is likely standing in front of him with the mirror. Yep, I'm there. So what there do you do? With the mirror, I have the mirror. Basically, he extends I... his hand. I'll say, you know, this uh, this itself is not the mirror, you know. Is it? Or isn't it, I guess. <laughs> Do you know what the true mirror is, Kale? He furrows his eyebrows and says, Is not it what you hold in your hand? No, this is a... metaphor for the real thing. I see. Then have you brought me the real thing? Oh, the real thing should be along shortly. And... Shingen sort of gives a magical tug on the mirror to try and draw out what it's connected to. Oh, she just tries so hard to ignore it. (laughs) It's like one of those movies where she keeps trying to go one way but then kind of looks over her shoulder and she hasn't gone anywhere. (laughs) Yeah, she's been like riding a horse into a lather and all of a sudden the horse just stops at the giant hole in the ground. (laughs) Ah, She's like, oh, shit. The only way she's probably going to break free is this. This is just she murders everyone. (laughs) Before she arrives, uh, I had a cool line, but I've forgotten it. So if anyone else wants to talk. Yeah, how does everyone else show up? Actually, in, in, in a barrel, I, <laughs> I've, 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 I've staked out a barrel, and I'm peeking out, watching, waiting, being very, very cowboy-esque. A barrel on the edge of a giant sinkhole with floating 
island platforms in the middle. It's yeah, this, this is a western, Steve. Conspicuous. It's a western. No, this this feels more like uh, Metal Gear Solid with the cardboard box. <laughs> Look, look, Steve, a tumbleweed goes by, and hiding behind that tumbleweed is Magnum P.I. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, how's Odo show up, then? Uh, good question. He's going to ride in on a giant paper Bible. Nice. Okay. I was really, really hoping for you to say he comes sailing through the air with a basketball in one hand. <laughs> <laughs> Chaos <laughs> dunks the hellhole. Here. <laughs> like, like, like he's doing the classic Air Jordans pose, just flying through the air. I mean, he could do the classic Kobe thing, but then he's got to call his lawyers. <laughs> mm, looks like the stream is down, maybe. Is it? Is it? It's offline for me. It, really? Yeah. Huh. Okay, hold on. I'll try to I'm restart it. Uh, no, I've, I've got it going. I had to click play again, but... Yeah, it's gone for me. Weird. No, no, it's gone. Oh. Hmm. Weird. 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 Yeah, yeah, I guess it did stop for a few people. That's weird. Good old GG Twitch. Yep. All right. If only there that. was an alternative that was great, and everyone should watch me on it. That's true. It, it, you know, like Hitbox TV slash Archimp. Yep. Cola. No, no cola. Oh, just the Archimp. Yeah, just cola. the Archimp. Yeah. There's Hitbox. a squatter. There's a squatter somehow. <laughs> wow. Are you sure you didn't make it like ages ago? I, I, I'm sure because I didn't make my wow. name until it started up. They're waiting for you to like make it big, and then they're gonna be all, "I'll sell you this username." <laughs> yeah, and none of that is going to happen, though. So. Hey, $5,000. Um, so for, for those who, who, may have, who may have missed it, uh, apparently Magnum P.I. Is, is hiding behind a barrel. Unless you want to do the tumbleweed thing. But the tumbleweed thing is actually a lot better because tumbleweed's mobile. I can... <laughs> I can... <laughs> <laughs> It's a really big ass tumbleweed. The best, the best part is it's probably rolling around in the air, and he's somehow hiding behind it because we're ninjas. Yeah, we're ninjas. Man, look, I've got one of those cool paper kites that ninjas are known to fly on. I love it. So that's how he's he's there, and then Oda Oda shows up uh, riding a Bible. No, he 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 just walks up. Jesus. All right. He walks up, Jesus. Air <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes over Jesus' back, dunks the ball. <laughs> the backboard shatters. And then he lands on the edge of the hole and kind of... <laughs> what if the backboard was um, was the mirror? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Um, but... but, but <laughs> Jesus. Uh, wait, wait. Do I do I do I know that she's the mirror? I can't remember. I'm. Did you keep that from me? No, I don't think, no, I didn't don't think keep you did. I haven't kept any secrets from you. Oh well, that's good. I've definitely held Except all of yours. Except the one where he learned your secret. That's the one thing he held back. I haven't kept I that from him. That's his own secret. That's true. <laughs> oh, I learned something about myself. <laughs> I do love basketball. All right, so yeah, the only people going into this who know the secret, other than Kagami herself, are Oda and Shingen. Magnum has no idea. Kale, I, I guess, is being in the process of being told that right now. I mean, no, no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, so so Oda just kind of kind of makes his way over to to stand behind. Well, no, to to no, no, you know what? Fuck it. He's just gonna. He's just standing around, waiting to see how this goes down. All right. So now we are all assembled. Kagami cannot resist the the pull on uh, from Shingen. Basically, is forced to show up. And I suppose Shingen spills the deets. Well, when I see Oda appear, I'm going to turn and have a whispered conference with him. 
Can we can we do a stage aside? Hey, what's up, man? I'll tell him with his power I can return your wife to you. Say what? Real. I only need your help. Well. That's a pretty sweet deal. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, Kale Oda, said, Oda just shoves the mirror's face away. <laughs> like, I'll say to Kale, I'll say just... the, the mirror is arriving. Once the mirror is arriving. Good. Good. Uh, yes. Then we shall begin the proceedings, but not before I kill you, Shingen. Or should I say Satsuki? If you know my name, then you know that you can't kill me. Ah, uh, but prophecies are made to be broken. I have no interest in trying to talk this to death, though. Draw your sword, or whatever you use, and let's end it. And, well, let's just get to the fight. <laughs> <laughs> While right. that's happening, Oda lifts a finger. He's like, actually, prophecies are prophecies. Nope, he doesn't care. Kale's going to take this. All right. So we are all entering this fight. It is a five-way fight. Who knows where the allegiances will fall? Uh, just keep in mind your email bonds, your convictions, and your secrets, and all that stuff. So, also, I should reiterate one thing: uh, the prize, which is, as we have learned, actually Kagami, not the, not the mirror that Shingen holds. Uh, who only one person can hold that prize at the end. <laughs> just, I mean, there is no working together for this. You, ha ha one person has that prize. No offense, guys. I don't know. I think I've made a pretty good case for myself. <laughs> 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 All right, we fight. So, everyone, please uh, place your velocity number in the red circle on your token. Now, hmm. I may not have been paying attention the last time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so basically when you fight, uh, you have to select a number between 1 and 6. And um, essentially what you want, uh, that represents is your initiative. So the higher number, the faster, the sooner you go. But it also represents your fumble. Um, normally you can only fumble on a 2, but in this case it's whatever your number is. So if you pick 6, you're probably going to go first, but you'll also fumble if you roll a 6 or lower. So uh, fumble in this case means that you fail that check and you fail all other checks in this round as well. Which includes dodge checks or any support ninpo that you want to use. Interesting. Okay. Uh, there's two other things. Uh, it determines range. So basically if you select six and you want to try to attack someone with, who is on four, you better have an ninpo with a range of two at the least. Um, in addition to that, it also represents the uh, amount of, I don't know, ninja juice you have. Um, it's how much cost you can bear from your ninpo. So if you select six, you can uh, do up to uh, six cost ninpo. Huh. So Does it's, that mean that you could spend up to six so you could cast multiple or no? Yeah, uh, you can't. I mean, it depends on what it is, but you can't like keep repeating, repeating, repeating the same ninpo, at least for the same action. Uh, so, like, if you had, like, a, a ninpo that buffed your damage plus one, you couldn't just keep doing that over and over. Um, you'd have to do, do it only once because you're only making one attack. But if you somehow gained multiple attacks, then you could actually repeat use it. Okay, doke. Okay. All right, so go ahead and select your numbers and tell me when you're, you're done. The ninja pact is sealed. The choice has been made. He chose poorly. Last okay. crusade. Eh? All right, I've yeah. dumped that in. Okay, and just so you know, since this is the climax phase, it is not till first blood. It is until you are dead. Well, not dead, but all six of your uh, traits, as they are, uh, your skill columns are uh, checked off. So we've Wait, essentially there. got six hit points. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. God, we're going to be here a while. <laughs> nah. No, because this is when the ogies come out. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be right. here for a while. Uh, all right. So I will start putting people down on the board. 
Oh man, this is exciting. Mm-hmm. Womp womp. Let me check something real quick. Oh yeah, and I should say that this uh, battlefield location is being set by this scenario. It is an extreme location, meaning that at the end of the round, the game master, me, rolls 1d6. Any character on the plot number equal to the number that I rolled loses one life point. Whoa. Wow! Does that mean you then pick what we get locked out of, or...? Uh, we'll probably do it randomly. Gotcha. Alright, so, Kale goes first, because... Peace, Kale. And is there at the highest level. Kale friend, hi. Hi. Uh, he is immediately going to lock on to Shinge. It's okay. Don't worry, buddy. I got your back. No, he doesn't. I'm a guy who can say. Actually, I don't think he can. I've been hoisted by my own petard by going by six. <laughs> It'd be funny if we all went to one. <laughs> uh, I don't know, that would be pretty funny. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think he can actually do his thing. Let me check something real quick, just to... Just fudge it, Steve. Me. Just fudge it. No, I have something in mind. I just gotta make sure that it's legal. Nope. Okay. Yeah, so he just doesn't take it to take a turn. That's fine. Actually, no, let's get, screw it. He has determined that all people are in his way. He just needs everything in... He needs to clear all obstacles. His mission, he actually does have a mission, because if there had been six players, Kale would have been the sixth player. So his, six, uh, his mission is actually to obtain the black... Uh, mirror, and also to destroy all obstacles. So, he's basically counting you as all obstacles. Even even me? Yes. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> You're an admirable right. obstacle. Yes, just because he feels admiration towards you doesn't mean he... He's gonna crossfit all... all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, yeah, he will make a ranged attack against uh, Oda. What? Let me tell you about P90X. <laughs> Let me tell you about P90X. I love it, uh, but I hate it. Why, why would he get tagged for Oda? Yeah, if you're in the stream, pick your pick your battle music and put it on in the background. All right, he makes his roll. He hits. Uh, please make a dodge attack, or I'm sorry, a dodge roll using uh, strategy, Oda. Strategy. Mm-hmm. I don't have strategy. Well, what's your closest skill, then? That's a good question. Uh, let's see. Where Where is strategy? It's under scheme, right? Strat it'd be under strategy. <laughs> oh. Your closest one is bluff. Oh. So, that'd so be uh, seven. Seven? Yep, seven. No, not seven. Isn't it what? just one over? Plus is two. It's you go one over to willpower and then one down to strategy. Yeah, so the target yeah. number is seven. Yeah, five oh, plus six. Oh, right, right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Taxi. <laughs> we, we, uh, we got confused. It was a plus two of the roll, but the target number is seven. Sorry, we. Right, I'm sorry. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta. So I do a two d six, and I gotta go seven or higher to dodge. Mm-hmm. That's right. So it's like a 50, 50 chance here. You do it. Oh, yeah. You can't stop Oda. What's he attacking <laughs> me with, anyway? Uh, strategy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is he, he's, he's, like, showing me a book on strategy. He's like, look at this. This is the no, war. He maneuvers you into a favorable position and tries to attack you with his katana. And misses. You don't fall for it. That's right. Oda, right. Is, Oda just waggles his finger at him and goes, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, Kagami and Oda now go. However, when you have two characters on the same 
a plot number like this, basically they take their turns simultaneously. Um, just for ease of flow, we'll take we'll do one first than the other. But basically, uh, what happens is if, if there's some, let's say Kagami attacks Oda, if somehow that translates into some sort of uh, debuff, then when Oda takes his turn, it basically doesn't happen for that turn because it's happening si simultaneously. Uh, so let's go with Kagami first. Kagami, what are you doing? I'm going to attack the shit out of Shingen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fuck that guy. Wow. Emotional much. <laughs> Alright, what are you attacking him with? I am going to attack him with, uh, let's see, I'm going to go for... Ooh. So can I use Crushing Blow with my close combat? Yeah, absolutely. You have to roll the Crushing Blow Ninpo first. Alright, so just 2d6 it? Yep. Okay, you do it. Now Aha! roll uh, close combat attack. Which is necromancy for me. Alright, you do it. No, she doesn't. So, she does? Nope. Because I use a strategic command. Oh, man. What? Say what? Say what? what? He used right. the blade grasp. He's grasping the blade. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You need to roll bluff for it? Yes, I do. You are going to... Damn! Holy shit. Yeah, that... Uh, Yeah, so you, you, you fail. You fail that. Actually... Uh, no, I'd say it's a modifier, so it's not changing the roll to four, which would be a fumble. Instead, it does just inflict a minus one. Yep. All right, so she misses by Shingen, a hair's breadth. Shingen leans slightly to the side and waggles his finger at Kagami. <laughs> no, oh, she's no, no. so mad. Bad mirror. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that will do that. Oda, your turn. Um, let's see. So Oda, Oda is kind of, you know, he's, he's watching all this unfold. He's just seen Kale Friend attempt to put him into a position and, and attack him with a katana. So at that point, Oda, Oda is not, he's not very pleased with Kale Friend. Mm -hmm. Help me take him down. What? I can't hear you. We're fine. Help me strike him down. Oh. oh, okay. Sorry. All right. So, um, yeah. At this point, he he flips his Bible open, and the pages kind of flutter, and he waves his hand over the top of these fluttering pages. Several of the pages spring out on their own, and end over end go flying at Kale. My range attack. It's Shuriken. Alright. So I just roll a 2d6, I guess. You do. Alright, that's just enough to do it. Uh, he will now try to dodge. So does he. He has to. How does that work for him? Uh, he doesn't have shuriken, but he does have something really close to it. So, but he he wins. Well, fuck you. <laughs> All right, he dodges the. Uh, basically, he doesn't even dodge the uh, Bible shurikens, so so to speak. He just cuts them out of the air. Oh no, Genesis! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shingen, your turn. Um, hmm. Let me think. I don't really want to attack anyone right now. That would be contrary to my goals. Hmm. Uh, during combat, can you use other skills? Like what? Like bluff or strategy? Uh, no, I don't like to influence anything. No. All right. So I can like, try. Like, what are you influence. trying to do? Uh, you know, just trying to solidify my you know bonds with Magnum or, Co or Oda 
but yeah, if I can't do that, that's fine. Those would basically just be covered by the uh, emo bond benefit or thing reduction that you could do. So yeah, where you can add the plus yeah. All right, so if you're skipping your turn. Yep, I'm going to wait. All right, Magnum. Oh, boy. I, I kind of feel super bad about what I'm about to do. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm about to start the show with a showstopper. Magnum, like, he's been wearing a cowboy hat, obviously, this whole time. He touches course, the yeah. brim of it with his revolver and says... Well, you youngsters have had enough time in the sun, I reckon. It's time to go to work. And I'm going to use my Oki. Okay. <gasps> Whoa. Uh, he leaps into the air, and from the focal point of his body, just dozens of Magnum P.I.s start raining down from the sky with a hail of gunfire bullets. God damn it. Oh, shit. Shigen. Kobe Oda, and also Kagame. Oh, Betrayal 5. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I rolled multiplicity for that, right? Uh, yeah, are you... <coughs> Excuse me. So you're not... You're targeting just Koge, uh, Kagame and Oda, right? No, it's uh, all characters within three plot numbers way or less, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you can choose. You don't have yeah, to. Yeah, it says all characters. I'm... I'm... Getting all three of them. I'm betraying oh. everybody. Oh, okay. Then betray I'm away. I'm showing wow. myself as a snake in the grass. <laughs> you have a loyalty bond, Magnum. Does that mean nothing to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm a ninja, man. We'll say well to anybody. Oh, God. I hope this rolls well, because or else I just look like a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just look like a jackass. Unless actually, I'm... I wonder... I don't think that Ogies actually need to be rolled, but they oh, confirm them. For real? Because that... That's crazy yeah, I guess, powerful. I, so. I guess that's true, because you got to roll a, a thing to stop them, so... Yeah, I guess that makes sense. We just got to roll to see if we get hit, I guess? We'll, we'll let... Yep, we'll let the Ogies' name and effect are declared, and the effect happens automatically. Nice. So out of out of curiosity, oh wait, I guess I get to see how people roll on this. You well, can still try to dodge it, however. Yeah, you can dodge it, but uh, and, and if I try to do it again, any time, like wait yep. a second, I've seen so, this trick before. <laughs> so Steve, yeah. yeah, how would my um, that one nimpo I have work in this situation? I guess I gotta roll first and see if I get hit, and if it does, I can use that Nimpo. Uh, this actually isn't a ranged attack. Really? Yep. God, that makes no sense. <laughs> it's it's ninja magic, man. It no it's ninja sense. magic. It's ninja magic. Makes no sense. <laughs> you do still get to dodge it and also potentially learn it so that you can break it next time. <laughs> Man. I, mean, I mean, come on. It's like a perfect... If it hits me, it's a perfect chance for me to use my skill. You, you can use your own Ogi. Well, I don't want to. God, so much salt. <laughs> Just roll, uh, roll multiplicity. Uh, if you're trying to let dodge me, them. Let me see how far away that is. Is everyone else rolling? Yeah, everyone, everyone in the everyone in the immediate area except yeah. Kale is rolling. Uh, it's just a one for me. <sighs> so I just got to get a six, right? Yep. Yep. Ah. Oh, nice. So Two I can do my thing now, right? If you're talking about your your Ogi, yeah. Yeah. So, it's... but hold on until everyone else rolls, please. All right. So, All right, so uh... multiple. Sorry, it's right next door to Scheme, so do I increase my by one, or no? Yeah, by one. Okay. Alright, Multiplicity is in the same column, but it's two down. So, uh, plus two. Uh, Damn. Just, just roll yours, Feral, I got it. He just caned all of us. I think Kagami dodged. 
Oh, or no, Kagami two, didn't dodge. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got it. The rolls are messing me up. So That's Shingen fine. didn't dodge, and Kagami also did not dodge. So no one dodged. Yeah. Who's all man. useless now? We suck. <laughs> we suck, guys. The old man is kicking our ass. I was kind to you. <laughs> uh, well, whatever. All right. I each was kind you, to him. Kagami, Shingen, and Oda each take two damage. However, they can choose which of the categories it goes to. All right. So just uh, pick two columns and check it off. Uh, except for Oda. If oh. I want to do this, I guess. If you do. Uh... How do people potentially learn it? Uh... After we, you decide whether you want to learn it, or sorry, use your Ogi in response or not, uh, everyone gets to roll analysis to see if they learn it. And if they do, then the next time that uh, he tries to use it, they can use uh, an Ogi break to try to nullify it. Huh. All right. I, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use my my okay. Ogi. It's tempting though. Okay. So go ahead and mark off two boxes. All right. I've done that. Wild card! I jump out of yeah. the van. <laughs> Man, this is powerful too, because any attack in that is like an auto hit, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Fuck. Pretty scary. What was your technique's name? I didn't hear it. Oh, it's the uh, 21 gun salute. Of course it is. <laughs> you gotta, you, you you have to shout your attack. That's just uh, ninja. You, you, you're right. I I I messed up there. But... All right. Let's, oh, retcon. Let's do this Everyone's all fine. Again. <laughs> Uncheck your marks, guys. Yeah, it's like Uno. You gotta you gotta say it before you I, put down I, the second to last card. I don't think I don't think that's true. <laughs> Smug. Which uh, categories are you checking off? I'm trying to decide. This is <laughs> Sophie's choice here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I told you I was starting to show with the show stuff. God, I probably should have used my damn Ogi. Well, uh, Shingen and Kangami, while he's deciding that, please roll analysis to try and learn his Ogi. Okay. Ah, oh, shit, I marked down strategy as one of my damage You can columns. still use it, you just have to substitute something. Uh, well, I will substitute, uh... Visual control. Okay. That sounds I'm, right. I, I'm I'm a wandering eye now. The power of my eyes. Uh, I, now I, I roll an eight. Now I roll an eight. All right. Kagami uh, learns it. Please check the Ogi thing for Magnum's uh, Ogi. And Shingen, were you successful? Uh, I think so. Because I have strategy, which is right on top of analysis after memory. But I don't. Uh, That'd be two up, right? right? No, it's right. Uh, it's right above. Oh wait, strategy memory. Have yeah. we been doing it wrong? I, I don't know. It's two. Okay. It's two away. Yeah, it's it's two away. So. All right, that's fine. I didn't make it. That's fine. Okay. All right, I've decided. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now I roll to see if I learned it. You do. You do. <laughs> Damn. Two people now know my mega technique. <laughs> now we can do it as well, right? No. That's not uh, your come on. No. <laughs> my special eye magic. I learn your technique. No. I developed that technique over years and years of ninja service. And, and uh, then... Kale also knows it now. Fuck. Well, that's... That's okay, I guess. And then some <laughs> alien kid named Goku figures it out in like five seconds. No. <laughs> no, Goku does not know how to do guns. Shingen is just too shocked by the betrayal. Oh my god, a ninja betrayed me. How could I not have foreseen this? Said everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, please... Pick a new velocity system number. 
I have done the deed. All right, everyone else? Yep. Smug? Yeah, I'm done. All right, and uh, our... Yes, I'm done. All right. Well, he didn't say anything. God. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Did it not transfer through? Is my key sticky? I didn't hear it, yeah. Yeah, you got sticky keys. Oh, jeez. Sticky keys. Oh boy, I may be made. Oh gosh, <laughs> <laughs> this is payback. Um, Magnum Ti is in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Magnum, what you doing? Oh, your action is simultaneous with Carol. Okay, well, I'm gonna do pure fire on. Oh God. Shingen. Yeah. Shingen? Okay. Shingen. Alright. Alright, roll it. I got five. You fumble. Oh, right, because I picked five. Oh, no. (laughs) Dang, that's harsh, because that's like a success value. It, it is, yeah. That's the the harshness of the upper that's, tiers. Yeah. All right, so you fumble. That means you fail this check, and you fail every other check that'll happen this round. See Which you includes know. dodge checks. That could be game <laughs> See, over. See you later, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> nice meeting you. Meanwhile, Kale turns to Shingen and says, let's see if that prophecy was true after all. And basically his... Uh, what, what did I mark down for this? He uses his ogi. Whoa-gi. I cancel his ogi. Right, okay. Because the secret happens. <laughs> yep. He tests this, though, because he didn't really know. So, in any, any case, he basically splits into multiple uh, copies of himself. Wow, he stole my ogi. He did. I'm mad Except for that, he just kind of instead of shooting bunches of guns, they all turn out to be fake. And but for some reason, uh, Shingen is able to see through all of these and instantly knows that well, when you have a bunch of copies that are acting as distractions, the real one's probably behind you. So he just just straight up just nullifies it, just backhands Kale, says no. Yeah, that's about right. You could see that, and he looks really shocked. And that'll be his turn. So how did that happen? Shingen. That's me, I'm Shingen. It is. It is you. Uh, Magnum is an easy target. (laughs) Magnum is an easy target. But... Hmm. No, I can't trust him. Um, but I also need to kill Kale. <laughs> this is a 